everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new to my channel, thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll click the subscribe button. And while we're talking about subscribing, I sincerely apologize for not having a shot out Saturday. Um, I had car issues on Friday, and it just really stressed me out, and I just, I just did not have the brain cells to record a video for Saturday. Um, I'm recording this one on Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm just trying to get caught up. I, that's that's all there is to it. I'm just trying to get caught up. And in the presence of trying to get caught up for the next week, this is going to be only the only video this week. Um, and able to get the stuff done in my studio that I need to get done so that I can function properly and have videos up on time and have projects to share. I have got to get the studio in order and that's what I'm going to spend the next six days doing. So while you're enjoying this video, I'm going to be putting stuff away. Everything is sorted in my office. I just need the time to put it where it belongs. And so that is my focus for this week. One section every day until it's done. And then I can start focusing on creating stuff and playing again. Which, I, you know, I've got the studio to play in and I don't have time to play. So... And that's what the Creativity Planner is about today. Um, I have put this together for all the creative stuff that I want to accomplish. And I'm going to talk about how it came to be in a minute. But first off, I want to show you what I'm using. This was supposed to have been my design team project for last Thursday. Yeah, I'm that far behind. And I've used... You'll see this solid paper in the background. This is kind of like I'm... Um, kind of like a shaving cream water color effect from Dear Julie Julie's Pink um, Ephemera Kits. And then I've got some of these others that are part of that, part of those three kits in her shop. And mine are a little softer in tone because my color cartridge is just about out, but I'm not going to wipe it out completely. This I printed on 32 pound paper and it's a little heavier. This one is on a cheap um, or inexpensive Walmart copy paper and it almost has a parchment feel to it which is kind of cool. So those are some of the ephemera packages. This is uh, some of the cards, larger uh, note cards, large tags. Guess if I go right side up. I guess I have two of those and then this one and remember, if you're printing ephemera, print them out on cardstock. If you're printing the sheets and the backgrounds, print those out on your copy paper. Primarily. Now, depending on what you're going to use them for. But that's usually people ask, well, how do I know what to print the items out on? And that's primarily the way you think about it. Ephemera goes on cardstock. Your background papers go on pattern on printer paper. Now, the other thing is that I used to put this together was I designed my cover in Avery on Avery.com and I brought in the image, one of the images from off of Julie's sheets. Let me see if I can find that one here really quick. Of course it's probably going to be nope, one there. I know it's in this top corner of a sheet. I guess it should have been. Huh. Don't see it now. Maybe I didn't print that one out. But it was off of one of her music sheets, such as this. The rose was up here in this corner, and I just moved this over to a dock file, and then I cropped out just the rose and set it into the Avery um, full sheet label template and created my, my wording for the creativity planner and then I put it inside a happy planner custom cover now I was not going to do this as a disc bound planner I had it all set up that I wanted to do it as signatures and I totally messed up the printing that's where my brain was at last week and I thought the easiest way to salvage this without having to waste a bunch of paper and start over was to just go with a disc bound for this year. And I think I'm going to like it, so I'm okay with that. Um, 
I've used this as another one of the marbling sheets from Dear Julie Julie. I used the labels from Bow Bunny Craft Dies. This is their keeping tab die set. And I've used it to create tabs and I've punched the tabs for both the top and the sides out of sections of Julie's papers. And most of them I cut from this sheet here. These were the perfect size for punching out the tabs on. And I used my sidekick from Tim Holtz to do that with. The concept behind this came from a, aside from having a place to put my challenge items that I do every month with Dear Julie Julie was I have joined some collabs on YouTube and you'll be seeing those coming up in the coming weeks and one of the first ones that I saw was the uh, Crafty Crafty Goals 2021 and let me get to that tab challenges Julie I thought she was right there crafty challenge and what it is is you think you set goals for all the things that you want to accomplish for the year and I made a tracking sheet and we come in and we will be posting the first Saturday of every month how we're doing so it's that accountability thing that hopefully will help keep me on track and I have this page and I've got to fill it out but the things that are going to go on here are the challenges that I'm responsible that I'm participating in which is case on the 5th. That one, I'm not actually in that collab. There's actually a waiting list for that. But I'm still going to do that and post my cards on the 5th. That's going to be my birthdays and anniversary card post for the month. Um, 52 tags Hannah made. And that is, we're doing, it, it's hand stitching. And we are doing a tag every week. I'm already two tags behind. So, but I want to get back into sewing, hand stitching, that kind of thing, and using some things that I can use in my journals. Then there is Christmas crafting all year long. Canned pumpkin, that is with Paige over at Stamp Girl. And the idea is to pull past paper pumpkin kits that have piled up and get them used up and out of the way. And I have probably 25 or so sitting over on my sofa that I was going to break down in some form and put away anyway. So this gives me a great opportunity to just use up the kit stuff and then just file the stamp away. Um, so that one is uh, the canned pumpkin. I had another one here. There were several. And then I've got my, then there are my personal crafting goals, which is to finish the Twins' Afghans. Uh, participate more in my groups on Split Coast Stampers. I have a under the bed uh, fabric tote under my work table that is to finish off the hats and scarf sets for the mitten tree at the bank for this year and then that yarn will be gone. Do the girls' 2019 uh, vacation album so I can have that cart back to use for something else. The monthly birthday cards Oh, the other one is 10 on the 10th, which is to do 10 Christmas cards per month and post those on the 10th. Uh, five new products in my shop per month. And work on my challenge journal, which is to do the challenge journal with Julie Julie. Plus finish one other one that I can put in the shop. And then this is the crafty goals with uh, Amelia. So I've got this to fill out. This one we will post the first Saturday of every month at 3 p.m. And you'll see this will help me keep track of what I'm supposed to be doing. And I can visually see where I'm not doing something that I should. The YouTube collabs will be first on my list and then everything else will come in behind that. So I have the 52 tags handmade. And I have the week one, the details of it, such as week one was to do something using all white items and to do, use a couching stitch. Um, so I've got a place to write the week and write the details. And then 
the reindeer club, which I remember I'm going to be doing that, excuse me, on the 24th of every month because the 25th I have the paper collab with Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. And I really need to put a page in here for that one too. But then my, I'll list the month, the video link, and what I did for the for reindeer club that month. And then my other big one for YouTube is the canned pumpkin. And in the canned pumpkin, I have the month, whatever kit I'm going to use, and then my video link. Now, I have just ordered a package of clear uh, full sheet sticker labels from Office Depot. They are an Avery product, just like the full-size white shipping labels. And I'm going to use those for sticker sheets, and I will copy my video link onto the sticker sheet, and I will make stickers to put my videos in here instead of trying to read my own handwriting or write the video link in. So there are those. Now let's go back to Julie's monthly challenge. Let's start back at the beginning here. I have the calendar tab at the top and then the month tabs on the side. I've used some of her digits to create a little pocket in case I want to tuck some a, a note or something in there. And I may still decorate this part. I'm not sure. And then I've got to go back in and fill out my months. And I've got that for every single month, January through December. And these here where I've added the washi tape was because I didn't have my paper pushed all the way into my punch. So I didn't get a complete punch. So I had to cover it with the washi tape and then go back and repunch. So I have those for all 12 months to fill in. And when I show you this on the first Saturday in February, this will all be done. I've got room here on the back that I can use some of these ephemera pieces from Julie's stuff. Maybe to make a corner tuck <coughs> or create an additional notepad space. And then the challenges, and the first one is Julie's challenge, back here put my papers all over the place, is behind Julie's tab, then I've got, I have the month of January, and this is where I will put the main challenge for the month, and there's a space to put the information for the first mini challenge, the second mini challenge, the third mini challenge, the fourth mini challenge, and then I start all over with a new month. And that will let me keep track of where all the details are for all of Julie's challenges. Now, I did not do very well with that last year. And that's one of my crafty goals for this year is to actually use this planner and keep track of everything. And since I have to come into this planner for the other challenges, I think it will help me keep Julie's stuff in here as well. So that is my creativity planner for 2021 where I can keep everything all in one place. My pages are a little narrow, but I'm okay with that. They're five and a half by five and a half. The covers are made for um, Happy Planner Classics. So that's why there's a difference in size here. These are just half sheets, but that's okay. I still know where everything is at. I use the clear month labels from the Paper Studio. I stock up on those whenever Paper Studio products are 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I always have those on hand. And the month labels, these small ones where I did only the three letter months, these were done using my clear labeler on my brother P-Touch. So that is my creativity planner. Now remember, this is the only video you're gonna get this week beginning, I'm not gonna say Saturday. I'm just not. Um, it just and how far this progresses. It may not be till a week from Monday, but I will be back. I promise, and we will be on schedule, and there will be lots of creativity stuff to share. In the meantime, please make time to play with your toys and think of me as you do. Remember to like this video, click the subscribe button, and I will be back with you for sure a week from today. In the meantime, creative blessings.